It's not unusual for homeowners at Forest Ranch in Hayden to have to pay hundreds of dollars a month in water. It's because they have to have it trucked in to make up for a limited water supply. The Department of Environmental Quality has labeled both a safety and health concern. Okay, I'm bringing in three 36 or 3,800 gallon trucks, depending on which truck comes up. Mm -hmm at least every four days. When Buck Johnston moved here three years ago, he never expected he'd be worrying about water. That's the uh, situation for many people up here, that you're, you're not looking for a pool of water. You're not looking for an aquifer in this neck of the woods called the Red Rock. You're looking for a vein in the salt. But clean water is on the minds of many living at Forest Ranch in Hayden. Problems with their public water supply has forced nine homeowners to truck in water at least twice a week and deliveries can get expensive. It was about $4,500 last month. The Forest Water Association says its public drinking water system is running low and blames lack of water supply regulation over the years. This letter from the Department of Environmental Quality says the community water supply is a health hazard because of iron bacteria concerns and defects in the system. And no matter what you do, the water quality is really bad. Now neighbors are pushing for the construction of a, a water line that will connect their homes to the North Kootenai Water District's water supply. The two-mile transmission main could cost between $1.4 and $1.6 million. The price tag obviously is a little high, um, but as, if more people get on board, it brings down the price a lot, so that would be a positive thing. But first, a local improvement district needs to be formed, a group of individuals who agree to pay back a state revolving loan. Twelve of us have petitioned for inclusion in that LID. We've been put on notice that we have to gain at least six more before state revolving funds will step up to the plate with an offer to finance. Ed Flanagan lives in the neighborhood with his wife, April. They have a private well, but want to see cleaner water flow out of their faucets. Water woes that many living in this community would like to see resolved. Uh, we have a lot of iron in our water, um, so it would be nice to have a little cleaner water, not such hard water. It was Tanya Dahl reporting.